Do you want to learn how to change the world? Then look no further. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I make videos on business process automation. This is the introduction video to a series of hands-on tutorials on the business process management system YAWL. YAWL itself is open source and free to use. And free to use is this tutorial series including learning materials. In this video I'll tell you what YAWL is and where it came from. Business process management is not an entirely new idea. Already in the 1980s there was this idea of office automation, as it was called, and workflows, and until the year 2000 many different workflow systems had emerged and each of them had a different notation and a different semantics. So by the year 2000 there were two major efforts unifying everything that was on the market then. One effort resulted in BPMN, Business Process Model and Notation, and is essentially an industrial standard, a notational standard that combines everything that was available at the time in workflow management systems. The second approach was an in-depth analysis of all these systems. This resulted in the workflow patterns and based on these workflow patterns a minimal workflow language that could express the totality of all the important features was created. And this language was called YAWL, yet another workflow language. So then from 2002 onwards the Technical University of Eindhoven and the Queensland University of Technology in Australia have developed YAWL into a full-fledged business process management system. YAWL has a very stable engine that can run for many years without ever breaking down and so it is really ready for productive use. YAWL has also many features for orchestrating people and machines. It has exception handling and much, much more. So what is the difference between YAWL and other business process management systems? Other business process management systems often have a tight integration with the software development layer and that makes them very attractive for software developers because they can find all the tools they know. YAWL on the other hand has a clear separation between the workflow specification layer and the software development layer. And that makes YAWL very attractive for organizations that don't want to call software developers each time they have an improvement or a change in their processes. Well, in this series of hands-on tutorials, I want to show you how to install YAWL, how to build your first workflow and how to deploy and run it. And then go step by step to more complex topics. You are more than welcome to ask questions. I will answer these questions and also produce videos on demand. So if you like this idea, I invite you to subscribe to this channel and go to the next video on the installation of YAWL. See you there.